Hey guys, Nick here with a video talking about something that I've kind of theorized for quite a while now. So, uh, obviously as the title suggests, this is going to be a theory about what exactly happened during the Engineers' Civil War, because if you actually look at what we see in Prometheus and now Alien Covenant, and then of course in the original Alien films, and just looking at the larger canon uh, in terms of the expanded media, it definitely seems like there was some kind of a faction battle between two separate factions of Engineers. Like, there was one that I think was more militarized, which we saw in Prometheus and LV-223, and then there was a faction of the engineers that were less advanced, uh, more spiritual, you know, less developed, I guess you could say, that we see in Alien Covenant, because there have been recent set reports talking about the engineers' society on the planet Paradise, which we will see in Alien Covenant, and it's much more um, earthy and kind of less developed in terms of how they worship uh, their old god and their old people in their lineage and they have a big citadel where they call it the Hall of Heads and it's kind of like they store all of the information about their entire race in there. So it definitely seems to me like there are two factions of engineers. Maybe you can even call the militarized ones like zealots or something. They kind of went against their code of honor and wanted to destroy their own creations. Like, let's say if you look at the prologue to Prometheus where you get to see the engineer sacrifice himself, the substance that he ingests in that sequence looks very vastly different than the black goo, and it also operates differently too, because in Alien Covenants we can see the remains of the entire engineer society on Paradise look uh, sort of burned and mummified like the remains of some kind of catastrophe involving the black goo, but their bodies don't disintegrate and dematerialize like the engineer that we saw on top of the waterfall in Prometheus. And this is also another thing that leads me to believe the whole two-faction theory, because I think that the less developed engineers, I like to call them the creators, while the other faction were the destroyers, because the other faction created the weaponized accelerant, or black goo as you want to call it, that kind of seemed to me like they were experimenting on the xenomorphs themselves, trying to create a weaponized version of it that could just take over an entire population, just destroy it systematically through different means, and also mutate uh, planet life and things of that nature. It's also been said too that in the past uh, the engineers actually didn't create the xenomorph which has been confirmed by Ridley Scott and I think that they also like I mentioned too were trying to use the xenomorph as a weapon in their long civil war. It would also make sense as well this theory because a lot of people had wondered why did the engineers invite us to LV-223 if they were just planning to kill us which is leading me to believe that the creator section of engineers wanted us to visit them while the destroyers were setting up a trap to basically wipe us out. Which is also why in the few shots that you do see of the Paradise homeworld in Alien Covenant, it looks less militarized and there's no weapons around, you know, there's no giant cannons or anything or giant anti-air guns or things like that. Uh, you can definitely tell that they're kind of like different weaponry in the engineer's arsenal because also in the beginning of Prometheus, the ship they used to kind of seed life on that planet was different than the crescent-shaped juggernaut ship that we see the engineers using later on. Also, Ridley Scott has talked about the derelict on LV-426 at length, saying that that ship was likely a battleship, carrying weapons, which were the eggs, uh, to another battlefield or another planet to create the whole xenomorph outbreak there. So, definitely leading me to believe that there was some kind of a war between the engineers that we won't see, possibly, but hopefully we will learn more about it as the prequel films progress, because I don't think that it'll be the focus of Alien Covenant per se, but I think that we will see a little bit more of the Engineer Society like I've covered in previous videos talking about uh, their citadel, their architecture, and things that they did leave behind on their homeworld. And there's also the notion that the engineers might have also been on other planets, just like humans did. They kind of populated other planets, and hopefully the stuff that we see in Covenant is at the end of their race entirely. So let me know down in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the theory? Do you think that there was a civil war between two factions of engineers, and what exactly do you think went wrong? Obviously, too, in Prometheus we can see that there are, like, kind of recordings of what happened on the planet right before this giant outbreak of the black goo wiped them out on that little outpost right before they were set to leave for Earth and wipe out humanity. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe for more content like this. We cover all the latest Alien and Predator stuff here at the Hybrid Network, and we have a podcast called AVP Underworld where I'm joined by Mr. H Reviews and Alien Theory on YouTube, and we talk about all things in the Alien and Predator universes. Thanks again for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you guys next time.